Chile o Argentina? ¿Cuál es lo mejor? Chile o Argentina? Which is better? Good morning and welcome to another beautiful day here in Ecuador. Right now I'm in a neutral territory because we're talking about two countries that are very similar but very, very different. That is Chile, which I lived in for seven years, and Argentina, which I just got back from. I've been there twice now and I love Argentina as well, but there are some differences, there are some similarities, and I'm going to be telling you at the end of this video which one is better, Chile or Argentina? And all of my Chilean friends right now are saying, oh, I already know the answer, but do you? <laughs> Let's dive into it. First of all, the geography. The geography I thought was really, really interesting because they're very, very far south from anything else in North America here in Ecuador. And the temperature is about the same. So the temperature in Chile and in Argentina is flipped from what I was used to in the United States, where the winter time is during June, July, August. In the United States, that's typically going to be the summertime. So that's interesting. Fall and spring are flipped as well. So when I was talking to my parents in the United States, they're freezing and there's a snowstorm and I'm in summertime in Chile or Argentina, which is pretty crazy to me. Also, it doesn't get that cold. And it's interesting the differences between Chile and Argentina as far as climate goes because the Chilean climate is a Mediterranean climate, which means that it rains a lot in the wintertime and in the summertime, it doesn't really rain at all. And they really rely on the rain in the winter. Whereas in Argentina, it kind of rains during the summer, it rains during the winter, and it's really a very flat place. Whereas Chile, you can see the, the mountains, which are not very far away, and then you can see the ocean. So you go from the mountains or the, the part of Argentina, the border crossing, all the way to the ocean in three or four hours, which is pretty cool. Not in all areas of, of Chile, but in most areas. Whereas in Argentina, it's very flat and you have to go for a ways to get to the mountains. And when you get there, it looks very similar to Chile, but just the other side, which I think is pretty cool. So you have the big wide open plains, which is really, really good in Argentina for raising cattle and having a lot of meat. I think that's a similarity between Chile and Argentina is the amount of meat that's eaten there. Also Paraguayans, they also eat a ton of meat. So the meat consumption is uh, right on cue. Also in Chile and then in Mendoza, especially the parts to the, the west of Argentina, there are so many vineyards, but I gotta say that uh, Chile, I think you win the, the wine. I, I love the wine from Chile. And I guess for price, well, right now it's cheaper to buy the wine in Argentina, but the vineyards are just so incredibly beautiful when you go to, to Chile as well. Mendoza is beautiful, but I mean, almost anywhere you go to in Chile, from Santiago south to the, I don't know, Maipu area and all these areas in Talca, there's so many different places that you can go and check out a winery, which is a beautiful thing. The mate conception. From Argentina, oh my goodness, they drink so much mate. Whereas in Chile, it's basically, I mean, this is a generalization, but in Santiago, you don't see quite as much mate lovers. You see it mostly in the campo, in the places far away from the cities. That's where you're going to be having mate. And my favorite way to have the mate when I'm out in the middle of nowhere with some meat is to throw a little bit of whiskey in there, have some mate, some sugar in there. Oof, so good. And other differences that I noted were, well, I think this might be a similarity more than a difference, but the people. Let's start with the difference. The people from Argentina are typically from 
Italy. So they're tall and white and they kind of look like me except no red hair. When you go to Argentina you can see that there's a lot of pizzas and there's a lot of pastas and things like that. Whereas in Chile it's mostly meat and a lot of bread. Similarity though. There is so much bread in Argentina and also in Chile and they're very different breads. But I mean the love of bread is definitely still there which is it's pretty cool. I love the facturas that are in Argentina and I love the maraqueta that's in Chile. So very, very cool. The city, Santiago versus Buenos Aires. They're the biggest cities that you're going to find in each country and there's, your, there's a big difference there, I think. Whereas Chile, I feel like you don't really see any, uh, any dancing in the street. They're just so, so cool in Argentina. And you see the kind of like European buildings that you see in, in Buenos Aires. You don't see that quite as much in, in Chile. So I think that's a little bit of a difference, just the way that it looks. But as far as the streets and how things are built, it's very similar to me from Chile to, or Santiago to Buenos Aires, which is pretty cool. And Chile, as far as economy, it's a very stable economy. It's been stable for a while right now. Um, it goes up and down like any Latin America country, but for the past several years now, it's been a pretty stable economy. Whereas Argentina is suffering right now, they go way down, way up, and right now their peso is, uh, is not good for the people who are living there. It's great for somebody who's coming from the dollar or the Chilean peso and going to visit Argentina, but I'm hopeful that Argentina gets their economy figured out. And there are so many other things that I could talk about that are similarities or differences between Chile and Argentina, but honestly, I was only in Argentina for a couple of weeks and I lived in Chile for seven years. So I think the differences and similarities I could continue to go on, but I'm not super confident about everything in Argentina. I'm gonna have to take a couple more trips there to try and figure it out. And I think the last thing though that's just a really cool thing about both cultures is just how welcoming everyone is. Here, I feel like in, in Ecuador, people are very, and I live in a city, but they're very, but in Chile and, and Argentina, you're able to sit with people, have some mate in the house, you're able to go into the, the farms and meet people, and people are just so incredibly kind and open and fun there. I just really, really enjoy that. I've met a bunch of people here now that are, are like that as well, and very, very kind and welcoming, and invite me to all sorts of stuff. But it's just very notable when you have some mate and you're sitting down and you're just, sharing stories with one another and going to travel out in the middle of nowhere and just having fun together. I think that's something really special about both Chile and Argentina. I know that people are a little bit different. I get that, maybe a lot of it different, but the whole general welcoming of people is something really, really special from both of the countries. Also, the sharing of uh, Patagonia. I think that's pretty cool. People can either go to Buenos Aires and down to Patagonia, or I would recommend going to Chile and going down to Patagonia because then you can start in Torres del Paine. What an incredible park that is. Oh my goodness. If you have not checked that out, you gotta go see it. El Calafate and the Argentina side is really beautiful. El Chaltén is beautiful as well. They have so many glaciers on their side. And also, you go down to Ushuaia, which is where you leave to go to Antarctica. Such a beautiful place. Both countries are really beautiful to me, but it's kind of unfair because I have a lot of friends and I would call them family in, in Chile. So you're right if you thought at the beginning of this video that I would pick Chile. I love the landscapes and, and going to Parque Guayquivilo and I just have so many good memories there. Our son was born there. So it's pretty unfair to compare both of them when I have so much experience in Chile and I even had my own uh, TV show, which was pretty cool. So. I hope that you enjoyed this video for today. Leave a comment right below. Which one do you prefer, Chile or Argentina? And why? What makes it unique? What makes it so special that you never wanna leave that country? 
or what makes it so special that you want to go back and visit that country. There are so many good things in, in both countries and I hope that uh, I get to go back to Chile soon. I was just in Argentina, got loaded up on a lot of mate and now we're uh, on our last bottle of Diablo wine. Did you know that this bottle here in Ecuador cost $30? Whereas in Chile, I think it was like seven or $8 for this bottle. It's a great bottle of wine, but not worth $30. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video for today. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok, and uh, we'll see you guys for another adventure very, very soon. Every Sunday and Wednesday, I'm putting out new videos, so get ready for just a lot of fun and adventure and new countries to visit and new things to see. I haven't shown Ecuador, but that's coming soon. We'll see you next time, but for now, ciao, Pascal.